repeat your actions. This is something you probably would utilize a lot. So if you want to perform certain teacher actions, you can come here to your grid, do your filtering, look for who you're looking for. If you find that person or persons, you can right-click, check their name, right-click, and go to teacher actions. And when you get to teacher actions, it has the actions that you can perform. Add co-teachers, remove co-teachers, join as a co-teacher, change the primary class. So this is where you can add other teachers on your staff to be a co-teacher in this class for whatever reason. You do have access to do that. So I would follow these steps. Hit continue. Then you will search for the teacher's name. You should be able to search their first and last name, or you can find their email address. It does take a moment to fetch and find that information it looks for. So you can see right over here, it's thinking, it's trying to search and find me. So you have to give it a moment and be patient right here because it does take a moment. So it's still looking. This does take a long time sometimes, depending on how fast the system is moving. Or if you want to just go ahead and put the email address, I find that it works a little bit faster. You can. So it's now fetching for my email address. Still going to take a moment, depending on how the system works that day. All right, there I am. Just will hit continue. And you can limit the time of access this teacher would be a co-teacher in this class. So maybe the teacher is only going to be out one week. You can put for one hour, one day, or you can put it until. So you'll get the calendar here. Choose the day that you want to give them the last day to give them access and even the time. Then you will get, you would hit continue. So I'm going to hit continue. And you have the option of turning this off or on by unchecking it. You can send the primary teacher an email notifying them of what you're doing, or you can uncheck it and hit continue. And this will also go to the co-teacher that you're adding. So if you want to have a message for them, you can, or you can uncheck it and don't send them a message. Hit continue. And this is just following up with you, making sure that this is what you want to do. So, yes, I want to add Nikki as a co-teacher. You would hit proceed, and she will instantly be added as a co-teacher in that class. So that is how you add co-teachers to a class. So if you go back to teacher action, you can also remove co-teachers here. So this class, this particular class does not have a co-teacher. See, I'm going to clear 